So now when I want to pray, the Lord says that there are, uh, there's slumber. And, and listen, I pray over myself about slumber. And I said, Lord, any area that has tried to load to sleep, how many times when we're depressed about something or sad, we want to go to sleep? Well, in your spirit, man, a lot of times, when you don't want to deal something, it goes to sleep. That's why he says, wake up, O oh sleeper. So the spirit of the Lord is saying to us today, wake up, O oh sleeper. Now, I speak to a spirit of slumber over all of us. Lord, I'm speaking to me. Lord, I speak to slumber, and I, I forbid you from hiding right now. And we command that root system of slumber, of hiding out in the caves, like in, like, uh, the, um, in Gideon's time. They were hiding out in the caves. No more hiding. We call you out of hiding right now in Jesus' name. We take authority over our slumbering spirit. We bind you and render you powerless and ineffective in Jesus' name. We say you will wake up to the truth of the word. You will see and, 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 and be, go beyond. You will see in the realm of the spirit. You will not be slumber and, and, and just in a place of, of not hearing and stagnancy. Father, we break that off. I take authority over it now in Jesus' name. And I loose the bloodline of Jesus over each and every one of us. We decree we are awakened in the realm of the spirit. We rebuke slumber. Lord, and I heard the Lord say, uh, there's people here that you've been having a problem reading the word. And the Lord's going to heal you of that today. Break that off. Now I speak to that. And if you're having a problem with that, we take authority over that now in Jesus' name. Lord, they have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. And I speak to anyone here that's having a problem that you said, I can't get into the word or anyone watching online. I take authority over that lie. I thank you, Father, that you will open up their eyes to hear wondrous things out of your word, to see and behold wondrous things out of your word. Now I speak to that. I say, mind shift. Just like Jael, she took that 10 pagan and put it through Sisera's head. What she did was she put it through the mindsets. She put it through that negative mindset, the lie of the enemy that would try to keep you in a place of bondage. But the Lord says to you today, you have the mind of Christ, that you have his DNA, that you hear and you see, and that you can override any thought of the enemy. Don't you listen to the enemy tell you that you are defeated or a loser. You have his mind, you're his child, therefore you can act just like him. The Bible says, image Imitate him, not the lies of the enemy. Imitate him. So, Father, we just, woo! Oh, I just, we just thank you for your presence, oh God. We just thank you for your breaker anointing because we're a people that you called to be the warring people in this hour. We are not slothful. And I break off that passive spirit, that slothfulness. If you're struggling with that, come on up. If you're struggling with passivity or slothfulness, because when you spoke about the one who hid the talent, when it said that wicked, that wicked servant, it means slothful, fearful. So, so fear will hold you back. Slothfulness and passivity will hold you back from what God has called you to do. God says that's not your portion. And part of it is you believed it. Don't believe it. Today's a day of victory. God is saying it's a breaker anointing here. And God is saying today is your day of salvation. Today is your day of victory. So Lord, I just thank you that you are breaking this off of all of us today. We are the head and not the tail. We are no longer going to make excuses. No longer going to make excuses for why we're not prevailing, why we're not moving forward in Christ. No more. So Lord, we just thank you for all that you're doing in our lives in Jesus' name. And so, I, you know, and Gideon's name means to cut down, to cut in half, the sword of the Lord. And for years, for years, the Lord has said, for those of you who have heard me, God is raising up a Gideon 300 army. I've said it forever. Now is the time. He's raising up this remnant. But let me tell you something. In Judges, I think I gave them the scripture. In Judges 7, here's what God is dealing with. See, first of all, when you read in Jeremiah, I mean, in uh, the book of Judges, uh, Gideon had to deal with, you can sit down, Gideon had to deal with the Midianite spirit. And that Midianite spirit, it says that any time he tried to move forward, the Midianite came, no different than a lot of us, the Midianites came and stole his harvest, right? And so, let me just open up to it. Um, 
it's really a fascinating portion. And I was just, I said, Lord, I'm claiming everything that's, that's in this book right now. And so in, I think it's in Judges 6. Sorry, I should have had it out. It says here, the Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord gave him into the hand of Midian for seven years. And the powerful hand of Midian prevailed against Israel because of Midian, of Midian, the sons of Israel made for themselves dens and hideouts, which were in the mountains and the caves and the mountain strongholds. For it was whenever Israel had sown their seed that the Midianite, here we go, that the Midianite would come up with the Amalekites and the people of the east and go up against them. We have sown seed, and it's time now that we take back from what the Midianites, that Midian spirit, and that spirit, that name Midianite means brawling, contention, and bitterness. We cannot allow bitterness, contention, brawling. I don't care how right you think you are. We can't allow that to take root within our heart because it's going to rob your seed. See, the enemy will tell you, you have a right for that. No, no. This is what God is saying in this season of 5783. Deal with it. Do not allow it to take hold and bring it to the Lord because he'll give you the grace and the strength to release any unforgiveness and bitterness. And so, you know, and, and so they were, it says in verse 6 or 7, 6, they were greatly impoverished because of the Midianites, because of the strife. And the Israelites finally cried out to God. And, and the Lord said to him, you know, he said, look, I brought you out of the house of slavery. You don't need to stay in this mess any longer. And so, you know, he said, but you have not listened and you have not obeyed my voice. And so have you obeyed God's voice in everything? And so listen, as a watchman, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you on these things. And the Lord challenges me on these things. So, you know, it goes on and, you know, and, and so what he had to do he had to deal with his father's house. He had to tear down the idols. And there can still be idols in your house, in your father's house, in your house, in your life, that we have to still tear down. I don't care how good you think it is. If God's saying tear it down, we have to tear it down because we can't carry it into the season. And so Gideon, you know, he did all that. And, and the Lord spoke to him. My husband spoke about identity during worship. And, and the Lord called him a mighty man of valor. And, and you know, Gideon's like, you're talking to me? You know, he says, I'm the least in my family, in my clan. I'm from the tribe of Manasseh. I'm the weakest. We have to stop seeing ourselves as weak. We are strong. The Bible says we are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you. You can say, yeah, but you don't understand what's going on. Yeah, but I know what God says. And that's what we stand on. I'm not saying you deny. I'm just saying you deal with it. But God is saying in this season, this is the era of the sword of Gideon. Gideon not Gideon. Gideon. <laughs> And that, that where it says in Judges 7, 3, that whoever is fearful, afraid, trembling, let him turn back and leave. And so God is saying to us, rise up. I don't want you to turn back and leave. He's saying, I want you to take that sword because Gideon's name means to cut and to cut out, cut out the, the leaven, cut out the stuff that would try to hinder you in this season. He's saying, use the sword of Gideon, Gideon and don't allow the fear to overtake you. Yeah. 